Griff Whitehill. That snot nosed fourth born. Parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof, soiling our house. I know you tried to stop them, my lord. But this occupation will break our people if it drags on. That's clearly what he wants. We can't let that scut rule this house. Like he's the cock and we're in his roost. We can't go to war within our own walls. Whatever we do, we have to be careful. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles, or the end of them. We need to look at all the pieces. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms, and cut down our trees. All the way from here to High Point. How do we kill a snake, then? By smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. I but agree with that. Here, we have access to him. And they have Ryan. He carved these soldiers himself. Ramsay Snow killed Ethan. What's to stop the White Hills from doing the same to Ryan at High Point? You can't forsake his safety. But we have to do something. My lord, at least give us a target to aim for. I think he would say, save we Ryan. Get Ryan out and bring him home. Once he's safe, he can face the White Hills head on. And what of Griff and his men? But we can only take this occupation for so long. We must act. And Ryan needs us. He's alone. Roderick is right. We are nothing if we leave Ryan behind. Then... It's decided. We're bringing Ryan back. We still don't have the men to hold our own home, let alone Storm High Point. We lost most of our men with Gregor at the Twins. Unfortunately, Roderick was not able to secure the backing of the Glenmores. That means we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asher means to sail home from Essos with a company of hardened sellswords. But they're not bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. You don't imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asher and Mira are a long way from here. I have faith in my children. I don't think Lud Whitehall will kindly stand by while we pull ourselves together. If we have to go to battle before we're ready, we risk losing everything. But sometimes you have no choice. That time may indeed come. But it's not now. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing, so I have much to prepare, and men to train. My lord? Jesus. My lord? There may be something we can do now. A voice from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. Lord Whitehill's daughter? The very same. After the hells that came from her and Nasha. <coughs> Despite all that, she's willing to meet with you. I hope you trust me enough as Sentinel to consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. Do you think she can be trusted? It's possible she has other motives. But it's a chance to learn more about our enemies. We need to take it. And I'll make sure no one else knows. For now, at least. Good. Handle things right with Gwyn. And she may even help us in High Point. 
when the time comes. Shit, so much, you know, uh, so much shit's going down for, uh, <laughs> for the family here. I want the dove pie served with a spoon of lemon cream. We'll have to let the kitchens know. And these flowers, they're just all wrong in the crown lands. Mira, are you listening to me? Lady Marjorie, good tidings to you today. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. And you, Lady Mira, a word in private, if I may. I'll return her shortly. Who would I be to deny Lord Tyrion? Very soon you'll be the queen, and if you're anything like the current one, you'll deny me all you like. Mira? Please excuse me for a moment, my lady. I promise That's I won't keep you long. I don't think Lady Marjorie likes me. Although, after tonight, I suspect I won't be her least favorite Lannister anymore. What did you want, my lord? Oh, there's much unpleasant business to be done today. But I bring you a bit of good news. I've arranged for the Crown to purchase Forrester Ironwood. A royal decree sits on my desk now. And I'll have my squire Podrick see to it at the first opportunity. You'll bring prosperity to your family. They're lucky to have you. You honor me, Lord Tyrion. Only you could make such a strong gesture to House Forrester. My <laughs> lord, do I still owe you a favor? As handmaiden to the new queen, you will undoubtedly prove useful. That's true. I'm sure I'll think of something. Enjoy the festivities. Goodbye, Lord Tyrion. Today of all days. You know I didn't want you talking to him. You're playing a dangerous game, Mira. Sarah will help me with my gown and hair. But... I'll deal with you after the wedding. Come with me, Sarah. I don't know. Garrett! Easy now. Sorry. I was just... keeping at the ready. That's good. Don't lose that. I understand your uncle paid you a visit. What did he want? Not many people pass through here. What brought him this far? There's news that House Forrester is in trouble. I'm sorry to hear it, but you have to leave all that behind. Especially now that you're a ranger. Aye. I know you had told me you could stand with these men, but not every brother's a friend, if it came to it. And you were in trouble north of the Wall. Any of them you'd trust by your side. You know these men. Who do you want watching your back? Potter's a clever one. He could be a real help. I'm glad you can trust your brother. I'll remember him. Herald Holt of White Harbor, Corliss Wells from Stony Sept, and finally we've got more spawn of nobility joining us. No. Britt Warwick of House Whitehill. It can't be. Check House Whitehill. Make sure you're not bringing this any one's for the Boltons. There'll be a hot meal in the mess hall. After that, we'll be sorting out gear at the armory. Garrett. It'll be practice swords to Garrett, start. what's the master? You know him. Come on, get moving. Garrett, who is he? That man murdered my family. What? Snow! See these new recruits to the master. Don't do something you'll regret. If it isn't the fucking pig farmer. I'm here because of you. Got sent to the wall for that little party I do with your family. Don't think it's over. Best watch your back. What are you waiting for, recruit? Personal invitation from the king? Welcome to the wall, brother. 
Looking forward to it. That's enough. I said move. I'll be seeing you, farm boy. That's a lot of drama. This isn't fair. We were supposed to be up there. I'll never see another wedding like this. I don't know what you did with Tyrion Lannister that made Cersei want to punish you, but it never should have affected me like this. You just don't get it, Sarah. I've been fighting for my family's lives here, and what Tyrion Lannister did for me, it may have saved them. Whether you have a seat at the wedding just isn't as important. I see. Well, I hope it was worth it, because you don't know how furious Marjorie is at you. When I was getting her dressed for the wedding, she was talking about who she could replace you with. <gasps> I probably shouldn't have even told you, but I suppose you have a right to know. Tell me who it is. Why? What are you going to do to her? Sarah! It doesn't matter. It was just names this is about you <sighs> it's funny how things change isn't it i seem to remember not too long ago i was asking for your help with marjorie and now here we are with you on the outside needing my help so go on ask me for it unless you want marjorie to make you leave king's landing because you're pushing her to it. Or don't accept my help, and you'll find yourself on a boat home by morning. You're making a lot of drama out of nothing, Sarah. This will pass. Marjorie and I will be friends again. I'm not going anywhere. We will see, won't we? Look, the pie! Oh no! They're already serving the pie. Oi! We're missing everything. I know you. You were in the gardens the other night, with Damien. Before he disappeared. I have a few questions to ask you. What were you doing there with him? Mira? Don't think I don't know it was you. You've made a mistake. No. Uh. Seven hells. <sighs> you there, girl. I need a towel or a wet cloth, something. Lord Morgren. You'll need to find someone else. I'm not finished Are with her. Are you sick, man? You think I have time to bother with handmaidens? Release her or I'll have Queen Cersei find you another job. A Game of Thrones. Woo! Fuck you. Well, I just ruined a perfectly good shirt to come to your rescue. No need to explain what that was all about. We all have our own mischief to hide. Why would you want to help me? Well, I didn't do it merely for your benefit. Then why? Perhaps I recognize a kindred spirit. It's not every little handmaiden who can steal an ironwood decree with the crown right out from under my nose. Consider me impressed. My partners, I am afraid to say, felt rather differently about it. You flatter me, my lord. I'm only saying you have potential, my lady. Your problem is, you still think like a handmaiden. Do you That's even understand true. why Tyrion gave you the Ironwood deal? Because it wasn't out of the kindness of his heart. I'm no fool. He wants something from me. Access to Marjorie. Or, perhaps he just knew he could get the cheapest ironwood from me. Very observant. You are no mere handmaiden. I remember what it was like to be new to this game. You feel like you're drowning, don't you? But there's no one you can really trust. What you need, more than anything, is an ally. I could That's be true. for you, Lady Mira. Is that something you'd be interested in? 
what exactly are the terms of this offer? What do you get out of it? A smart question. So, let me be blunt. Circumstances have put us at odds. But what if we were to work together? Control mm. the price of ironwood together? We could get very, very rich together. Mm. Or should I go back to Lud Whitehill? Who has proven to be very interested in it? I'm afraid it just became a very bad time to be linked to Tyrion Lannister. Tell me that you got that Ironwood decree from him before the wedding. Oh no. He said it was waiting for me on his desk. <sighs> what a shame. Such potential. I'm afraid any chance of our alliance has become quite impossible. You understand, Lady Mira. Can you help me get it out? I have my own affairs to deal with. But if it were to disappear, perhaps we could talk again. You have a good head for business, Lady Mira. It'd be terribly disappointing to see it on the end of a pike. It's locked. I'm not getting in this way. Tom! What in seven hells do you think you're doing up here? What are you thinking? You've got to leave. Now. Tom, I'm in trouble. There's something inside I need to get. If I don't, it's going to be a nightmare. Damn it. Whatever trouble you're in could be trouble for me too. So what do we do? <sighs> I have an idea. The terrace. The what? I could maybe climb across the roof and drop down onto the outside terrace. It's just... I don't know, Mira. Is whatever's in there really worth risking my life for? It's not just kings who die stupidly round here. No. It's not worth your life. Thank you for saying that. I guess I better not die then. Wait here. I'll be at the door before you know it. Just what do you think you're doing here? You shouldn't be anywhere near this place. Don't you know the imp has murdered the king? I... I was just... I just needed to get away. After everything that's happened, it was terrible. I'm sure you did. I'm not going to ask you again. <laughs> Devil. Oi! Whoever's in there, I command you to open this door at once, in the name of the king! You, don't move. It's me! Hurry! Gods, that was close. I almost didn't make it back down here. Some tiles on the roof came loose. I almost lost my footing. Thank you, Tom. I could never have done this without you. I'm looking for a piece of paper. A royal decree! Well, go on! That Lannister guard could be back with help any second. I'll keep watch outside the door. Tom! You can do this. Shit. Alright. Look at desk. Look at desk. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He said there would be on his desk. Mira, we're running out of time. Oh, 
Ken. Just a letter from Tywin Lannister. Oh, oh another bloody letter! Tyrion's strongbox. Oh, it must be in here. Mary, I think the Lannister guard is back. Oh no, it's the other one. Damn it, hide! I'll find a way to distract them. I'm telling you, I heard someone in here. Search the place. We'll find them. And after. Now that we've got the imp's keys, we can have a little look inside his lockboxes, eh? <laughs> Aye. Help! Fire! What the hell? Damn it! Come on! You did it. How? I lit a tapestry on fire down the hall. I bought you a minute, maybe two. Open that oh, strong box. Open that did strong you find box. It? Oh, I think I think it has to be in here. Oh, it has to be. Oh. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Just hurry. <gasps> it worked. Is this? Oh. Thank the gods! Oh, I found it! Finally! Let's go! <coughs> I catch the bastard who... Oh, wring their bloody neck! 